Good morning, Quadcopter 101. And before we get started, let's get the shout out of the way. Today's shout out goes to Logan Wallish Gameplay. That's a different name. <laughs> Logan Wallish Gameplay was first to say first in one of my recent videos, and thus wins a shout out. So, congratulations. Good morning, Quadcopter 101 here, and I have a neat new model for you today. This is the new Modula or Mobula 7 2S Whoop, uh, Bind and Fly Whoop. Um, what's special about this one? I'll, well, I got, first off, I've got the standard version. Also, it's available in Free Sky, Fly Sky, DSM-2, or DSM-X. Uh, but what's the difference between the basic version and the standard version? Well, with the standard version, you get this neat charger. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Um, it's a LiPo LIHV charger. You can charge either LiPos or LIHV. You have to provide your own power source. You can either use a wall plug or you can use an XT60 uh, 2S to 4S battery. You plug it in there. Um, this output port here is just for USB output. If you want to charge your phone or charge a 1S drone, you could use through here because it's a 5-volt chart or output there. Um, other things you get in here, you get uh, spare props, a screwdriver, screws, and additional um, total of four batteries. Okay, I got two spare batteries and two batteries already in the drone, and I want to show that to you here shortly. And there's one other thing here I want to show you. This, I, this little plug here. It's a tiny little plug. Um, but I'll show you the reason for that plug here shortly. Let's take a look at the drone. This is the drone itself. Not a bad looking drone. Um, it is brushless as you can see here. But uh, what's special about it, first off, it's 75 millimeter in, uh, from motor to motor diagonally. Um, it's 700 TVL FPV camera on the front with a 120 degree field of view. It is tiltable and I have it tilted up pretty far, about I'd say about 30 degrees up because I want to tr you know, fly outdoors. You want to fly fast when you're outdoors. <laughs> it has a 40 channel, 25 milliwatt video transmitter with OSD and smart audio, which means you can adjust the PIDs in the field and you can also adjust the and change the frequencies on the camera out in the field, hopefully, uh, with that smart audio capability. Now it has a Crazy B F3 flight control board loaded up with uh, in beta flight with 4.0.0, dated 13 October 2018. Um, it has I mentioned it has um, brushless motors, and those are size SE0802 KV16000 motors, along with a 5 amp 4 in 1 BL Heli ESE. Now, I mentioned this is 1S or 2S capable. Um, this is the 2S configuration. What you get is these um, LIHV batteries, 250 milliamp per hour. Uh, uh, again, LIHV, which means they charge up to 4.35 volts. But you get two of them that you plug in into these two uh, ports for the batteries. Now these are loaded or connected in serial, so when you plug them in, that becomes 2S serial. You can also fly this 1S with just one battery. And again, you get the shorting plug. And let me show you that shorting plug. But this is it. It's a little plug that when you take your drone, plug it into one of the ports of the uh, quadcopter, and that will short it out. And then you can plug in the other uh, battery plug into the other port and fly it 1S. Now, why would you want to fly this 1S instead of 2S? Well, I did this already last night. When you fly this 2S, it's just a little bit too punchy to be flying indoors. Okay, I kept hitting the ceiling. You know, it would easily accelerate to the ceiling. So if you want to fly indoors, that's when you would consider using this plug and flying with just one battery. You know, um, go through one battery and then you got three more to fly to keep you flying indoors. So... 1S indoors, 2S outdoors in effect. So let's go for a flight of this thing and see how it performs. Hope you enjoy its flight. Okay, I have the uh, quadcopter all buttoned up with its battery. It's ready to go. Um, I did some minor modifications in beta flight. This will be uh, disarmed. This will be beeper. This does have a beeper, by the way, as you can hear. And this will be armed all the way down. And switch C here. I have it set up for angle and uh, air. And all the way down, I have it set up for acro. So let's try it flying in line of sight in angle mode first and see how it flies. So give me the throttle. Let me see. Let me show you that punch. Very punchy as you can see there, folks. So that's why you wouldn't want to fly this indoors with a, you know, the 2S configuration because it, it does a lot of that. <laughs> but very fast little bugger, I mean little flyer. <laughs> Okay, I lost sight of it already. <laughs> so let's bring it over here. Now we're going to go switch into uh, acro mode. I'm going to put the hat on my wife's head. We'll finish out this battery. Then I'm going to fly the second set of batteries too. 
we're going to get a good flight on this. So uh, disarming, and hold on, folks. I'm going to put the wife on my, or the hat on my wife's head, and we'll fly it acro. Here I am with my FXT Viper goggles. I like these goggles, folks, if you haven't figured that out. And I also like my T8SG Jumper 2 Plus. Okay, uh, going to acro, selecting acro and arming the motors. And we got 4.1 volts left per battery average. Let's take to the air. Let's see how this flies. Uh, RSSI, by the way, it has RSSI, as you can see there, 41%. Let's go easy on it first off. Let's go around the pool and see if we can go around the pool. It's doing fine. Going up higher and doing one of these. Coming around, doing one of these. That's nicely, okay. Now, I got that camera tilted up pretty far. And the reason being, I want to fly low and fast. I like low and fast, folks. I don't know about you, but I do. It's fun. <laughs> so, you know, you can do freestyling with this, but again, this is a racer, <laughs> FPV racer, whoop racer. Wonderful little racer, actually. I'm enjoying this thing. And it flies very well. Um, its pids are nice. They are set up very nicely. Let's go down here a bit. I'm going to do a right turn, see if I can line myself up because I want to try something. And yes, <laughs> very nicely tuned pids that you can do the things like that, folks. Very nicely done, folks. Okay, I'm at 3.30 volt, volts. I'm not worried yet. Going up again. Oh, this is a nice one. I like it in 2S. Uh, 1S, yeah, <laughs> if you want to fly indoors. But this thing is doing such a great job. <laughs> I love it. Nice little machine. Oh my, I like it. I'm going to enjoy the second battery too. I'm going to write it. 3.10 volts. 3.05. I gotta think about landing now. Um, these LIHVs, you know, you could probably take them down just about 3.0 volts. They last. They don't care too much about. I still got a lot of power in them. I could feel the power. <laughs> you know, it's we're down to 3.05 volts, but I could feel a lot of power in this thing still. But we should be thinking about landing here shortly, so I'm gonna do that. Okay, go on to stabilized mode. And finding my spot, landing spot. Where are we? We're down here somewhere. There we are. See if I can get on the pad. Probably not. Again, this one's kind of uh, punchy. Close, but close. no cigar. Let me put one more battery in that, folks, and we'll continue. Hold on. Well, that was enjoyable. And by the way, how do you like my shirt today, folks? Okay, let's do it uh, again. Let's uh, set it up. And arming, actually, I'm going to try air mode today. There we go, air. And hitting acro and take it to the air. Now, the reason I like air mode is you can usually do things like that really easily in air mode. Coming around. Especially if you like to do slow rolls. You can do that in air mode very easily. You don't have to do fast rolls. Going up again. But yeah, this is nicely done there, Happy Model. You guys made a nice one here. Nice racer. Whoop. Very nice whoop. I like it. I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying it very much. My wife's not looking at it. It's over there. <laughs> I'll bring it by us. Here we go. Going through the trees. Coming around again. Here we go. Slow, fast, fast. <laughs> Did you get it? I'll do it again, my love. Okay. <laughs> I'll set it up. 
We're gonna do a fast pass. Go by us quickly. Do that one more time. Let's go up this way and come back the other way. So yeah, um, if you've been guys are looking for a nice whoop for indoor and outdoor, you might want to consider this one, folks. This one is nice, very nicely done. I'm keeping this one, by the way. It's another keeper. I'm doing fast passes, bias. Uh oh. Uh oh. I think I went out of RSSI <laughs> here. Okay, I'm, this is where the, the beeper comes in handy. Okay, I'll be back. I I'll know. get it. Okay. Okay, I wasn't watching the RSSI, but I guess it went down to about 33 when it went over there. So I got to keep an eye on the RSSI a little bit closer. And that's relative signal strength, uh, folks. Uh, you know, how much, how well is it receiving, being received, or my transmitter is being received by the drone. But uh, with that in mind, we'll stay over here a little bit more and then push a little bit forward. Okay, I'm in, oh, I'm in stabilized mode. Acro. Okay, I was wondering, why is it so sluggish? Because I was in stabilized. There we go. And I didn't want it air mode, didn't I? I want air mode. Coming around, coming around, going behind the trees over there. Again, I like air mode because you can do tricks and you can do slow rolls. You don't have to do fast rolls in air mode. And I don't know if you can do them indoors, but you can certainly do them outdoors. <laughs> I get a little screwy there. Okay, but I want to fly real fast, so I'm going back to acro. In acro, you can really tilt it and get it moving. Okay, 2.8 volts. I wasn't watching. Oh gosh, coming in, coming in fast landing, fast landing. <laughs> you don't want to kill that battery. Oh my. Okay, with it on the ground, let me take a quick look here. I'm gonna rearm it. I want to see what that voltage is. 3.2 volts. It bonds back up to, so that's good. But we went well below three volts there. Shouldn't do that, folks. That's not good. Okay. Let's disconnect that battery and give you my final thoughts on this. This is a very nice whoop. Very nice indeed. Um, and what I like about it best is it's got plenty of punch for a little whoop. It's got a ton of punch. Got respectable flight time there. I was guess I was getting over three and a half minutes, something like that, which is not bad for a whoop, a, a brushless whoop. And it's very punchy. I like that. So very punchy, very uh, maneuverable. So I hope you enjoyed this flight, this Quadcopter 101. Signing out. Hi, Quadcopter 101 here again. Hey, if you want to get your own shout out in one of my future videos, make sure you subscribe to my channel. It's real simple. Just go to my channel page and click on that subscribe. And also make sure to click that bell button right next to the subscribe button. That way you get notified when I release a brand new video immediately and give you a chance to get that first shout out. So give it a try, folks. Thank you.